Well, deciding between types of investments or even a loan can be very frustrating and very, very confusing. There's also other services and terms and conditions. It's uh, dizzying actually to make sense of what's actually going on if you're not an expert uh, in this. And that's all according to a study by the Financial Sector Conduct Authority. It's found that consumers are, and I'm sure you agree, emotionally, financially, and mentally overwhelmed, and now you're trying to make a good financial decision, uh, but it's all too confusing. Luckily, we do have an expert with us, uh, the authorities, uh, Kersha Singh, joining me this morning. Kersha, good morning to you. Uh, so I've had my two cups of coffee, my brain is awake, but it's still very confusing, isn't it, as a consumer? Where did the, where did the study come from, and why are you looking into this? What was the trigger point to to look into this for us. Uh, good morning. So the FSCA is a market conduct regulator. Our main mandate is to ensure that customers are treated fairly by financial institutions. Um, and while we collect quite a lot of data and information, um, this is the first time that we've actually done a survey to hear directly from customers wow. themselves. So it was really motivated by getting a first-hand view of how our customers actually experiencing the financial sector and in our drive to ensure that financial institutions are treating customers fairly, do mm. customers um, feel that they are being treated fairly in the financial services sector? That was the motivation behind undertaking the study. And what did the results show you? How do consumers feel? What's their experience like? What's their experiential reaction to, to what you were looking at? So I have to say there are some positive findings where consumers um, have general positive sentiments towards financial institutions, also um, relatively decent levels of trust, which I think is very encouraging to, to find. However, the research also allowed us to dig a little bit deeper um, and really probe uh, what that first reaction of a, a positive sentiment and feeling what it may not fully be revealing. So for example, um, our survey shows that consumers feel that uh, they get um, decent information and understandable information at the time of taking out a product or service. Uh, but then when probed further, many customers, close to 40% of customers actually reveal that um, they don't understand their financial products or services very well. Um, and actually, um, something like 50% of consumers say that they've taken up at some stage a financial product or service that they later regretted having taken up. Yeah, I will happily weigh in on that one. I will leave the company out of it, but I ended up signing a document that I thought was for something else. I ended up taking out an entirely different policy without actually realizing i done it. And that's actually my fault completely. But I was, that's why I mentioned it, I was so confused by what I was yeah. actually looking at. I didn't realize what I was signing. Yes, yeah, still my responsibility, but I didn't realize by ticking that box, I was actually signing on for something else. So what's the lessons here? Where, what are you trying now do with this? So you've got the research, you've done the studies. Where do you go with this uh, information? What do you do next? So, I mean, a very interesting part of the study is understanding consumers' emotional and behavioral thinking during the, the product life cycle. Um, one of the example you gave, you know, customers are really often feeling overwhelmed and quite anxious when it comes time to take out products and services. And what we would really like to use this information for is then to think of innovative and targeted solutions for how we can be better assisting customers to navigate the financial services landscape. Obviously, our role is a market conduct regulator, so it will involve working with financial institutions. The study reveals that, you know, having a wide array of choices of products and services isn't necessarily helpful to consumers who feel overwhelmed. When you are very overwhelmed, it's much easier to not read your products and service terms and conditions clearly. Um, and so how can we be making sure that we make that um, a little bit more manageable for, for consumers so that there are more empowered to make uh, good decisions for, for their financial well-being. And, and where does a consumer go off the back of this study uh, to, to try and get 
uh, this sort of information to try and educate themselves because I suppose and it's not a criticism of the industry but you're talking to or you're interacting via email with experts in the field it's second nature to them this is what they do all day they understand all the policies they understand the legalities but most people don't so just as a takeaway uh, for someone watching now who agrees with the study and they want more info where do I send them what do we what do we tell viewers to go and do now so the financial sector conduct authority we have a wealth of information including consumer education information um, available uh, one of the findings of the study is actually when consumers aren't satisfied with how they've been treated they don't often complain um, and they don't know um, what their rights and responsibilities are and i think empowering themselves with that information can really help them also be standing up for themselves when they're not entirely satisfied engaging with their financial institution knowing what their rights are um, and when they're not satisfied you know there are a range of financial sector ombuds that are there specifically to assist financial sector consumers in resolving uh, complaints and disputes that they have with financial institutions. Customers are not very aware of these. Um, again, all that information is available on our website um, and, and the FSCA really is um, able to provide the necessary information to consumers to help them empower themselves in this yeah. regard. It's so important as well because I think everybody uh, watching at some point has had to uh, try and figure out what is happening with their financial uh, advisors and any policies they've taken out, even they get confused. I'm happy.